The geographical scope of today's video is the Iberian Peninsula because we are going to talk about the different means of transport that allow you to travel between Spain and Portugal and between Portugal and Spain. Hola, ¿qué tal? Hello, I am Tony Galvez from Road Trip Spain and Portugal, where we help you plan the perfect trip with practical information and insider tips. In today's video, we are going to bring the two countries together by answering a series of questions we get very often about traveling between Spain and Portugal. Of course, there is no single answer to the question of how to travel from Spain to Portugal. Both are large countries that share a border of more than 1,200 kilometers. What we are going to do here is to talk about the different means of transport and identify the main routes between the most important destinations of the two countries. Let's start with the train Comboio in Portuguese. And let's start by answering one of the most repeated questions on the topic. No, there is no high-speed train between any destination in Spain and any destination in Portugal. Are there future projects? Yes, but there are only projects with no start date, let alone completion date. If you watch our video on the size of the high-speed network in Spain, you will realize that the current network only comes a little bit closer to Portugal in the north of the country. Every now and then someone asks about the night train that used to run between Madrid and Lisbon. This train called Trenotel Lusitania, operated by Renfe, stopped running in 2020 at the beginning of the pandemic and is is not expected to run again. As we don't want anyone to say that we are claiming that you cannot travel by train from Madrid to Lisbon, there is a way to do it. In our opinion, an epic journey only suitable for adventurers with a lot of time on their hands because it involves taking four trains. A Spanish train from Madrid to Merida, a Spanish train from Merida to Badajoz, a Portuguese train from Badajoz to Entroncamento, and a Portuguese train from Entroncamento to Lisbon. If there are no delays, the journey will take almost 11 hours. If you miss a connection, you will have to make do because you don't get a ticket for the whole journey. You have to buy tickets separately. So if there is no high-speed train or train between Lisbon and Madrid, is there a train between Spain and Portugal? And yes, there is. There is the so-called Comboio Celta or Tren Celta, the Celtic train, an international train operated by Comboios de Portugal, the Portuguese railway company, which connects the city of Vigo in Galicia with the city of Porto in northern Portugal. It runs twice a day. The journey takes 2 hours and 22 minutes and tickets can be searched for and purchased on both the CP and Renfe websites. It can be an interesting train for those traveling in the north of Portugal and Galicia. From Vigo and Porto, it is possible to connect with other points in Spain and Portugal. Now we move on to the buses, autocarros in Portuguese. Here the panorama is very different as there are many routes that cross the border between Spain and Portugal. As there are so many and it is impossible to keep up to date with all of them, we are going to highlight the main services, the most used by tourists who want to travel between the two countries. The company Flixbus has a route that starts in Coruña in Galicia, passes through Santiago de Compostela, Vigo, Braga and arrives in Porto. The journey time is 4 hours and 14 minutes. The company Alsa has a similar route but after Porto it continues via Coimbra and Fatima until it reaches Lisbon. The fastest journey time from Coruña to Lisbon is 10 hours. Now we go to Madrid. There are direct services between Madrid and Porto Porto with Flixbus and Alsa. On the way it goes through Salamanca and Coimbra and the fastest journey takes 8 hours. Between Madrid and Lisbon there are also Flixbus and Alsa services. They go through Badajoz on their way to Lisbon. Depending on the company the bus may stop in other cities. The fastest journey time is 7.5 hours although most services take longer. Finally for those wishing to travel from Andalusia to Portugal Flixbus and Alsa buses depart from Seville, pass through Huelva and arrive in Faro in the Algarve. 
before continuing on to Lisbon. The fastest journey time is 6 hours and 15 minutes. We have just shown you the main bus routes connecting Spain and Portugal. There are many others, both direct and above all indirect, with bus changes along the way. The advantage of all of them is that they are usually very cheap. The disadvantage is the long journey time. The plane is our preferred option for long journeys when the endless hours spent traveling by bus are exchanged for a relatively short flight. The air connection between Madrid and Lisbon is one of the best. It takes an hour and 20 minutes and the airlines you will see now on the screen operate direct flights between the two cities. Between Madrid and Porto the flight also takes an hour and 20 minutes and there are four airlines operating this route. Let's move on to a flight farther afield from Barcelona to Lisbon. It takes almost two hours and four airlines operate the route, three of them low cost. The flight between Barcelona and Porto is only operated by two low cost airlines. Seville has also air connections with Portugal. The flight to Lisbon takes one hour and is operated by the two airlines now on the screen. There is also a single Ryanair flight from Seville to Porto. In addition to the routes mentioned above, there are direct flights between Lisbon and Porto and many Spanish airports. For example, there are flights to both Lisbon and Porto from Bilbao, Valencia, Alicante or Malaga. A question about flights that many people ask us. Flights between Spain and Portugal and vice versa are considered domestic flights and therefore there is no immigration control on arrival at the destination airport. The last option for traveling between Spain and Portugal would be by car, either owned or rented. There are more than 60 border crossings that allow you to cross from one country to the other. At many of the crossings, you will find a sign indicating that you are entering the neighboring country, which always makes for a good photo opportunity. But bear in mind that there are no permanent border controls between the two countries. Under normal circumstances, you will be able to cross without being stopped. The crossing of your choice will depend entirely on the route you take, which part of Portugal you live from and which part of Spain you want to reach or vice versa. And with the car ends a review of the main ways to travel between Spain and Portugal. In the description of the video we will put links to all the transport companies mentioned so you can check timetables and prices. If you have any questions related to the subject of the video, we will be happy to try to help you, so leave your question in the commentary box. On the screen you will see now a video that will be very useful if you come to the Iberian Peninsula. We believe it contains information that will make your trip even better. We are going straight to this video where we are waiting for you now.